police are arriving. Nothing has changed. This is what we've been doing the entire shoot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was great. Thanks for the interview. It was fantastic. Thank you. Job there. <laughs> I'll let this pass. Okay. How do we begin? I have a question for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Should we get it? <laughs> no, uh, no, don't start like that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was thinking, um, it's been a, quite a journey so far. <laughs> uh, my first question is, you decided to do a beard. Why? <sighs> because we, there was a... When we were doing the makeup tests and stuff like that very early on, you had, I, I heard you, you wanted to keep the beard. What was it that you wanted the beard for, for the character? That without the beard, um, I, I feel like more, well, I feel younger. And I always thought that for this type of character, I need to build something that is more strong. Uh, about the impact, about the look. Yeah, no, I've never shaved so much in my entire life as I have on this project. <laughs> yes. And I had to learn how to shave. Like, I never... Use a razor. So the first, yeah, I was like shaggy because I was like, if, what if I cut myself? So yeah, for me, it was the complete opposite. It was actually um, not having any kind of stubble or anything okay. like that. And I have such sensitive skin, you know, it's yeah. like, yeah. no, I just I can't do a campaign for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't do it, I think. Okay, it's my turn. Okay. Okay, your turn. Uh, at the beginning, I was very scared about all that stuff. Not about you, but about the project. You know, right. my first, my first project in English, but a very technical stuff, finance. What was your your first impression about me? About you? Yeah. Your eyes, right away. <laughs> you uh, you had a twinkle in your eyes, which was really nice, and it was um, there was a strength about you, and you you have this wonderful strength, but at the same time you have an accessibility and a vulnerability, which is really, it's a beautiful combination of, of, of both of us. Wow. Right. And a maturity and a wisdom. And that, that I think, um, that was really the working with you is, you know, you, you had to deal with English and, and, and a massive amount of dialogue and exposition, which is always very challenging. And very impressed by that, how you've handled it, how you conduct yourself and, um, it was easy if I just focused and we were looking at each other, we immediately had a great understanding. So yes. we were saying one thing, but we were feeling something else. And I think that's, for me, uh, after the first day, I was like, ah, oh, I'm in great shape right now. Because when you have a scene partner, you're acting with someone, it's less about what you're saying, it's what yeah, you're feeling. Yeah, absolutely, yes. And, it, and even for me with the crew, I, I really can't understand anything and I can't pick up the language that well, but you can look at somebody, you can understand what's going on just by reading the eyes. And to me, that was really exciting. And playing with you, that I think that's uh, why the scenes were so much fun to do. Once we finally got there, once we got through the challenge of just learning dialogue day in and day out, I mean, once you had your preparation done, uh, we were protected, I think, visually and, and all of that, the way we, the, the show has been shot, um, things were done for us. But then just being present and then in the moment and discovering the scenes, that, that was really enjoyable too. Yeah. Very good. Mm. I appreciate it. Very yeah, it's good. really good. I'm very happy very about good. that because I remember perfectly the um, our our first hug. Yeah, you know perfectly because you're I was very, so scared about yeah, that. Yeah, people are very warm, and you're very warm. Yeah, because you I hug like everybody, that. and it's it's really nice. Because I like that. The, the the first thing I thought was, uh, oh God, uh, he's like me. Yeah, like, like that. Yeah, and I I really love that. I really it's always that. tricky sometimes around the actors too, right? Yeah. There's always this. Uh, I think we're innately insecure to begin with, uh, and we. Either you own it or you don't. And the people that are the most enjoyable own that vulnerability and that insecurity. Um, but when people put up the facade, there's this inability to connect, I find. That's the challenge with being an actor. Yeah. And not getting caught into that trap. At that moment, I really understood that. Uh, uh, I, you gave me the possibility to feel free to be myself since the beginning. So I was very relaxed right. from the, the, the first time. and I. I was like, oh my God, yes. Yeah. Yes, I felt this I all the way it. through. I think with the um, Nick set an atmosphere where you felt right away, we're like, this is special. I can't quite articulate why, but there's an energy and there's a vibe that's happening where you feel like, oh, this is going to be really, this is going to be good. Good. You know, it's going to be challenging. There's complete chaos <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 we know. around us that, you know, will be a challenge, but. Um, through the like sound, like see the sound was constantly background noise, dealing with the distractions, and you always handled that very well. Your professionalism, 
um, amazing uh, experience, you. you know. Very good. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know what? I, I want to I wanna ask you a thing. What, what did your parents uh, thought the first time you said, I, will, I would like to be an actor? Because mine, they, they, they were so scared about that. They, they were like, oh my God, it's like... <laughs> yeah. I can only imagine as a parent hearing your son or daughter say, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Please don't go down that road. It's too hard and not everybody makes it. But to answer your question, I think it was no, nothing I ever wanted to do, to be honest with you. I wanted to be a, an Olympic ski racer, like a Butter okay. Tamba, you okay. know, uh, in Mars Denmark. So that was never something I wanted to do. I enjoyed performing. I would juggle and I would do stuff, but I kind of fell into it. And then one thing led to another, and then I realized that oh, this is what I'm doing. Um, I went to New York, and I remember um, my father saying, look, you've got one shot at this. If you make it, great. If not, then you got to come back home. Um, and then my mother was always disappointed I didn't do more theater. Mm -hmm. And then when I started racing cars, she much preferred that than the acting. <laughs> she was never into that, which was so bizarre. Yeah, it's strange, yeah. Yeah, and it, it's funny, it just, um, it just is, certain things are meant to be and they unfold and that's part of your journey and that's your destiny and you go with it. Yes. And then you realize, okay, what have I gotten into? Then you have to learn the technique and the yeah, craft. Yeah, yeah, and, absolutely. And then you realize how challenging and how difficult it is. I've had good years, I've had bad years, I've been around doing it for over 30 years now. So I've had a little bit of everything which makes me appreciate it and not take it too seriously, but being professional. Let's go, let's get it done. Let's, let's do the best we can and then be done with it and go do something else. The yeah. business in itself and the process is enjoyable. The end result, not necessarily for me. I don't enjoy watching myself <laughs> too critical, but I enjoy the, I enjoy doing it. Okay. 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 And I think this is really, I think this is the only way to do this job relaxed. Because if not, if you are always judging your work, probably you're going crazy, you know? It's well, like... then you're too in your head all the time. Yes. And then you become too self-conscious. How did you begin as an actor? How did it start? Do you remember the moment where you were like, ah, this is what I want to do? I, I was working in front of my gym. I was 18, 18 years old. And the men stopped me saying like, uh, I need a guy to, to do just a little, a, a little part in a, in the series, it was uh, 2006. Were you playing a boxer? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I guess. And th th this was my, that was my first time. Just t t three days of work in, uh, in, in a series called Distretto di Polizia a long time ago. And after that, the first time I was in, on the set, uh, I felt like, oh my God, this is, this is great. Destiny. Yes, maybe yes. Right now, I, 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 I really understood that uh, the, the real problem of this job is, is making choices. Right. No, I just want to do things that makes me happy. Right. Just this. So if I'm happy, uh, I did the right choice, probably. And right now I'm very happy. So and th this job makes me free every time, every day. And this is probably the, mm, the reason that I decided from the beginning to, to do that, because it makes me free. We're lucky to be working actors. Yes. Absolutely. Without question. <laughs> Have you been always happy through this? What's the biggest challenge for you on this? Uh, the series at the beginning, I was just scared about the language, about English, obviously. And I was uh, very scared about the British accent. And at one point, Adrian, my, my dialogue coach, told me, no, you, 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 have to, you have to work on this British accent because Massimo, uh, my character, uh, has been living in, in London since 10 years, so maybe but then you have Guido, who's been living there for 20 years. Yo, Guido is not we, Guido. And he is, still has a thick accent. <laughs> Guido. <laughs> so that theory was thrown out the window after a week. Yeah. I remember that. Yes. <laughs> but it was just like, you know, I'm a Virgo. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I have a lot of problem about that. Yeah. <laughs> because I, yeah, I, I was impressed so. with your ability to, to command the language as well <laughs> as you have. And how it's improved over time. To, yes. And I know Adrian has like, yeah. wow, that's good. You I, know. I, I, think the, the, I don't the, envy you looping all this. Yeah. <laughs> the first episode I was like, I am Alex, I am Massimo Ruggero. I'm like, what? What did you just say? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, yes. And then Guido. Guido. <laughs> My God, Guido Bredo. Guido is amazing. Now, I never got a chance to read the book. Uh -huh. Oh no, yeah, because, because you know, yeah, it hasn't been translated yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did 
you got a chance to read the book. You spent a lot of time with them, as we both did. And I learned so much about life, more importantly about life, and certainly finance and, and, and all of that. I look at things differently. He opened me up in many ways where I don't look at the world the same way. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's what this story is about. That yeah, there are many absolutely. levels of uh, awareness or consciousness when it comes to money. And as we say, those who are in the know and those who aren't. And there's yes. a responsibility for that. And I think with him, there's a, a, he's a very powerful man, very smart man, but an incredibly humble man. How did the book, this is two different things. How did the, how did the book inform you? At the beginning, the book was like um, the, the first approach to that because I didn't know everything about finance. So at the beginning, it was like, okay, just try to understand some dynamic about right, all yeah. that stuff. And obviously, this is, there is the, the famous butterfly effect, you know? So you make choices, and on the other side of the world, there are uh, repercussions. repercussions. Right. It's, like, it's like that. So. I think this is a good point for our series. It's like, there are not good or bad. No. That's what's interesting about this story. It's not that. It's not yes. that clear. Yeah. I, I, I always thought that, first of all, this is a story about human beings, and about their choices. So, for example, uh, at the beginning, uh, the approach that I had uh, related to Massimo was like, yeah, we have to talk about finance and about all the dynamics, but we are going, for example, for me, the, the most I interesting stuff about that is the different movement inside the story between me and you, me and Nina, me and Sofia. This is, this is something real that, that is not connected just to the finance world. Well, that's the interesting thing about the title, The Devils, because it's really not what you expect it to be. Yeah. It's a sort of a misdirect in many ways, because when I, this is also post, you know, 2009, past the crash, where the mentality has had to change and adjust. But when they were projecting this sort of image of real empathy and understanding and understanding their power and their importance and what they were doing, more so probably before the crash, it was probably a different amount mentality, maybe it was more like the devils, but I walked away feeling, oh, okay, there's humanity here. It, it was not, these are bad people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just taking your You're money devils. and I'm going to kill you. Yeah. It's been an incredibly difficult journey, but I've enjoyed the openness and the collaborative nature of everybody. It wasn't like anybody was in there saying, no, you can't do that. Yes. It, they've been, everybody's been very open. The cast has been remarkable. I mean, you, you've had an opportunity to interact with everybody, but I think uh, it's really interesting, the individuals and the personalities, which isn't typical. Um, and there's always a sort of a, an undefinable magic that happens or doesn't happen in this. And I think the cast has been really extraordinary. Mm, yes. And, and representative of where we are in the world, the diversity of people. Yes. And, different cultures and different backgrounds that make it really interesting and fun to watch. Yeah, there are a lot of different type of approach here, approach to the to the job. Oh, we didn't, we haven't really talked about Jan, and, but you know, Jan Jan, our director, who is really, it's been interesting because we've broken it up into two different directing yes. styles. They are completely different. Completely different completely approach. Different. And when we were doing one and then crossing over in the afternoon, at first it was like, wait, how do we adjust it? <laughs> yes. You know, completely different styles. Yes. But I like that. I like that so much. Yes. Because it's like, you know, you know, I, I, I don't know if for you it's the same, but it's, it seems like Nick is the, the most technical part of that. So he knows perfectly what, uh, what he wants. And for yeah. me, it was like, no, it, it's so, it, it, everything is so quick. Huh? And, and Jan, since the beginning, it was like, okay, uh, let, let's let's try to figure out what we have to do. So f follow the emotion and try that way, try that way. So it's completely different at the beginning. But I really like that because it, it, it's like do, doing two different series, you know, and it's... Yeah, with it's him, he, he would give you a note and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll go there. Let's try. I have, you know, yes, we'll see where it takes us. And yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a lot of trust on this set. A lot of trust, a lot of respect. Um, we were all in it together, you know. Yeah. It's like we're in a boat and it's taking water. And we got to all get things ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's the, the nature of the creative process, anyway. And sometimes when it's too smooth sailing, there's no tension. 
Yes. And, it, and then you see the film and it's flat. Not all the time, but particularly I'm hoping this is the moment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, but it was great the first time we saw sort of some of the assembly that you're like, wow, this is fantastic. Uh, this yeah. is stylistically, it's really interesting. Can't wait to see the serious side, my God. Yeah, it'll be, um, it'll be really fascinating. Yes, yes, yes. It's so, okay. Uh, uh, I, I really, I really, really, uh, I'm using this opportunity to say thank you. Really. Well, thank you. It's because been a real it was, pleasure. it was great for me, and it was great for me because the, that was really my first time on there, and I, I was so lucky to meet you on my journey. Really, me too. It was really. a real pleasure. You were a total <laughs> inspiration, and a wonderful actor, and a great human being on top of it. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I love you. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs>